Hello, my loves. Welcome to another morning inspo. If you are new here, I'm Aji, and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Welcome, 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 welcome. The download that I have for you is that right now, filth is not going to work for you, Libra. Okay? Filth um, is not going to work. Um, if you are feeling like you can't get focused, you can't get any sleep, you can't relax, look at your environment. And if your envi environment is filthy, filthy, unorganized, messy, that's just not going to work for you right now. You're not even going to be able to really even sleep well or sleep restfully if you're in a space that is like unorganized. So I feel like the best thing for you to do right now is organize your space. There's a need for you to create some type of aura around you and around what it is that you do want, okay? What is the affirmation for Libra today? What do we have for Libra? We got two coming out for you. Today, you said you have, I release the urge to be self-critical and I let go of negative thoughts and feelings. Let's say it together four times. I release the urge to be self-critical. I let go of negative thoughts and feelings. I release the urge to be self-critical. And I let go of negative thoughts and feelings. I release the urge to be self-critical. And I let go of negative thoughts and feelings. I release the urge to be self-critical. And I let go of negative thoughts and feelings. All right. It says, what are the biggest flaws that I see in myself? And how can I turn those flaws into positive traits? It also says, what fears are at the heart of my negative thoughts? How can I redirect my energy towards positive thinking? Um, Turning your flaws into positive traits and turning your negative thoughts or those fears, the fears that are, are, are at the heart of your negative thoughts, understanding what those are and redirecting your energy towards some type of positive thinking. So this is you turning some energy around, turning something to positive, turning negatives into positives. That's what I'm getting here. Um, let's go into the blessing bag for Libra. Whatever negative thoughts and feelings that you may have about yourself, turning those negative thoughts and feelings into a positive and you have good time spent alone. OK, make sure your your space is really, really clear. You have a yes. Yes, it's yours. Take it. Um, swimming in success. Something is yours. Don't be self-critical about a win that you do have. Something that is like for you, it's made for you, it's yours, you you did the necessary work, you deserved it, you earned something. Um, you could be telling yourself like, this is too good to be true, or you could have some type of fear of success or some type of survivor's guilt. What is the tarot energy? The tarot energy is the hangman, so a different perception, a different perspective. Um, it does look like you're not being held back by, I would say, self-critical thoughts, self-sabotaging thoughts, self-sabotaging ways. And now you're looking at things positively. I would say you have turned a negative to a positive. Something is turning positive. So the energy in the room is changing. All right. There could be a lot going around you or a lot of people thinking negative, speaking negative. Um, you can be around a lot of Debbie Downers or you could be around a lot of chaos. Stuff like that could be happening right now. And it's turning that negative into a positive. I'm still going off of that. <clears throat> that message, turning a negative into a positive. All right, I'm going into the wisdom of the oracle for the first half of this morning inspo. Please only take what resonates. If you find something here that resonates, please go ahead and like the video. Make sure you like, 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 like. So we can get this video circulating. Circulate and percolate and twerkulate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> So we can get it out to the fellow Libras, okay? So 
let's get into this. You're turning some negative into a positive. You're spending good time alone. You're not being self-critical, self-critical. So these could be some negative thoughts that you have about yourself. Something, everything is turning around. And if you know anything about the hangman, the hangman first has to turn upside down in order for him to get a different type of perspective. So something had to turn upside down. Something had to result in some type of chaos. There could have also been towers happening, but it's all turning to a positive. What is the morning inspo for Libra? The morning inspo is, look at that. That's you. You are the hangman. You're looking at things differently, all right? Um, it's like you can be bent, not broken, too. Like you're not breaking. You're not easily breakable. Something's not going to easily break you. Um, something's not going to easily stop you. You have this flexible feeling, this, this flow of life, this more of surrender type of energy. All right. In career, you do have go to see. So there's something that you're going to be tending to and I do feel like that there's something that you're getting a little bit more personal whether you're working on like an autobiography or you're putting like a lot of your personal feelings into a song or into a book or into a painting or something like that you're getting a you're getting way more personal I do also feel like you can use what was what was used against you to actually help you grow there's something that um, a person could probably say about you that can you you can use that to your advantage and you're you're learning that and love you do have orphans so this this card came out a couple times for love okay so there's a person who is manifesting a love relationship and it is based off of some type of neglect or abandonment issues and there's a need for you to actually see where the the um the negative thoughts that you do have it says the fears that at the heart of your negative thoughts. So there's a need for you to see what fears, what are these fears that is keeping you in this orphan type of state? This orphan is this state where you feel neglected or you feel abandoned or you may feel alone or you may feel unwanted or not needed. There's some type of fears that's at the heart of those negative thoughts and that's that's what you need to look out. These things could be coming up in, in um, love close relationships, you're always getting hit with something. There is some type of fear that is there. All right. You're on the spiritual plane. You do have treasure Island. Okay. So you're going into paradise, walking right into paradise. Um, definitely on the spiritual plane, what happens above must happen below. So it's like you're celebrating, have a celebration, shout, drink you some wine, get you something, a gift or something to celebrate your, um, you being in treasure Island or you walking into paradise on the spiritual realm. Okay. Um, your advice from spirit is it's time to go. It's time to go. All right. What's coming towards you. It's time for a nap. OK, and the overall energy is exchanging gifts, the gift exchange um, at the bottom of the deck. We have breathe, excel. Also, peace, your space is definitely going to count too. Um, spirit is telling you like it's time to go. It's time to wrap some some cycle is done with spirit is letting you know, like, OK, now it's time for you to end something. It's time for you to leave. It's time for you to exit your energy from something or someone. There is some rest coming towards you and this rest that you're getting, you're definitely going to be getting some type of downloads, some type of vivid dreams, something, right? Some type of information being sent to you in a dream. Um, also, there is some type of spiritual gifts or there could be um, some type of physical gift that you're getting right now. That's, that's the overall message is gifts, okay? Gifts. Some gift could be coming really, really fast, especially since it's on the spiritual plane. You're also turning some negative into the positive. You're already in the position where you're seeing things completely differently. Um, already looking upside down. <laughs> Literally. Already in the position. So this energy today is going to feel good for you. Like the energy of today is going to be really, really good. Tell me more about the hangman for, not the hangman. Tell me more about flexible. Flexible. You have sacred purpose. Okay. 
ancestral legacy. All right, T touching earth, planting something new. You might be starting a new path. You might be starting a new journey today, okay? Um, you're actively touching something new is because you're, you're seeing something new. You're seeing something in a new perception. You're getting new ideas, new faith, new hope, new trust. Um, there is movement. Um, there's a new journey or a new path presents itself. And I feel like you're uh, flexible enough or you're... Um, non-resistible enough to take the journey. I do feel like something could be slowly but surely moving you, getting you to flow in a different direction. And this could definitely have something to do with career since you're going to see. And I feel like you're not moving, you're going with the flow and this current is bringing you into this new direction. There is some type of new path being opened up towards you. This is some type of sacred purpose here. Um, you may have seen this in your dreams or you're probably going to see this in your dreams. This has a lot to do with some type of psychic ability or some type of... Um, clairvoyant energy um, where you're seeing something before it happens. You may have a dream of you doing something and then the opportunity presents itself or there's something that there's something that could have been a negative or something that have could have been used against you or something that could have depreciated your value. It increases your val value by the way that you look at it. So I feel like um, with yesterday's message, like understand that this is chess being played um, that there's a lot of chess moves and mastermind moves that you're doing right now. And it may seem differently because you could usually be like real, real rigid and, um, real, real restrictive and right, wrong, no gray areas, but now you're allowing yourself to flow. You're giving up control, which is actually giving you control. Tell me more about to the sea, to the sea I go. To the sea, timelessness, the eternal, the circle of eternal joy. Timelessness, the divine mother, the dance of life. This also has some type of surrender. So this is you surrendering in career. It's the surrender, is the dance of life, the flow, being flexible, being able to bend and not break, going with the flow, and then you're at the sea. It looks like something is pushing you in a direction. You do have the Divine Mother here, which is very, very nurturing and compassionate. If you're looking for something in career, you can go to the um, river somewhere where there's some fresh water and talk to um, the water. Also, there is something that's flowing you right into a direction of um, hidden knowledge, okay? So there's something that's being opened up towards you, and you're just going to be in the right place at the right time. Yeah, there's a portal opening up towards you. You're definitely going to be in the right place at the right time, okay? Tell me more about Orphan. All right. <clears throat> you have this inspiration, this. So there is some type of visions that you have of yourself. OK, or. Um, the gathering of blessings. So I do feel like you're you're changing this type of energy. Um, there's something that you're also using to your benefit. You're not saying in spite of my traumatic childhood or in spite of abandonment issues or in spite of felt relationships, you're like, because of, you can gather so much energy. You also have this, this energy where you're able to see like into the future. Your sight is very, very good. I do feel like instead of shunning away from this, this orphan type of feeling, which is, which I'm getting like the root girl, the disowned inner child, you're actually coming together with it. Okay. When it comes to love. Yeah. You do have this twin flame energy. So there is some type of eternal connection. This is you on you. This is self-love energy. This is this, this um, reading is very, very personal. Um, there's a reconnection that you're having with yourself in this 
brings a lot of blessings to you and love, okay? The power of self-love, healing the heart. And healing the heart is taking that part of you that feels alone, that part of you that feels neglected, that feels abandoned, that feels picked out to be picked on, um, that feels less than. And you actually be coming into bonds with that instead of neglecting it and, and telling yourself, I don't feel this way, I don't feel this way. You're like, come here. Why do you feel this way? Why do we feel this way? What's going on? What triggered us this week? What did we watch? What did we hear? Okay, so what, what could we do better to make us... what? cheers us up, what makes us happy. That's how you're talking to yourself, which is beautiful. Tell me more about Treasure Island. It's walking right into paradise. Walking right into paradise, all right? Power of self-love gets you right into paradise. For some of you guys, you think it's, you think it's, some money or some people you need to meet, a certain job that you need to do. Um, you think it's a certain, you got to look the part. All you got to do is love yourself. All you got to do is love on you, okay? Um, you do have the divine masculine. Like, so many things are definitely going to be, it's like, I'm feeling like building blocks here. Um, I'm thinking about the divine masculine in the, in the sense of a builder. Um, and this energy is very, very strong and very, very powerful. And this energy brings, it builds things up for you. It creates something for you. There's a lot to do with your self-love and you loving, you loving on you, your feminine wisdom. Okay. This could also be bringing, could, could be pulling a, um, because remember, when you're in your feminine wisdom, we don't chase. No, 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 no. We are the magnet, okay? We are the attraction source. Things come to us. So there are so many things that are going to be coming to you based off of you loving you. What it does is it puts you in this energy where it makes things, things are built up for you, Um and it's all into you releasing these negative thoughts and feelings about yourself and not being self too overly self-critical. I feel like, I feel confident when I say this, uh, Libra, you might be your worst critic or you are your worst critic. Nobody talks to you like you talk to you. There's a need for you to not allow any type of negativity said about you, even if it's coming from you. There's a need for you to, to check that, to check that version of you. It's a version of you that say crazy things about yourself. And in this stage and in this cycle, you just got to keep the devil in the hole. You can't get into that energy where you are allowing your self-doubt and your self-criticism and your negative thoughts and feelings stop you right now. Also, there's things about yourself that you actually really, really like, but other people may not have. And because you do have this orphan feeling, the need to be wanted, the need to um, be needed, okay? The need to be a part of some type of group or family or love, the need to be loved, the need to be the want to fit in, the want to just fit in. That's what the orphan, they just want to just fit in, just be around a couple people. I do feel like that there are certain things about yourself that you may even love about yourself, but the need to fit in could have had you thinking like saying what everyone else said. Maybe there's other people who didn't like it, but you loved it. Doesn't need to love yourself like that. All right. Tell me more about time to go. Okay, you have precognition, psychic ability, and future vision. Okay, so spirit is definitely going to be showing you something. You have death and rebirth. So this could be time to go, like something needs to die so, so something else can rebirth, okay? Um, literally, literally, death and rebirth here. All right. So there could be a way of thinking. I do feel like there is um, in this nap that's coming towards you, whether you're taking a nap today or something like that. Um, there's a need for you to kind of like 
there's some type of a vision. I feel like it's coming up as precognition. It's coming up. It's between you and spirit. Um, yeah, what did I soul dance? Um, soul dance, <laughs> soul radiance. The phoenix rising when I open when I open up the deck. Like it's time. It's time. Like it's it's the time is now. Time's up. Okay, it's time for the rising. And this has a lot to do with self love. Okay, so you'll be you'll be surprised how much just loving yourself improves your life tell me more about time for a nap okay so something's coming to you about the divine masculine for some of you guys you're going to see this divine masculine in your dreams very very vividly and this is because if you're a divine feminine you are attracting this energy if you're a divine masculine you're going to see this divine feminine in your dream or you're going to see what you need to do where you need to go where you need to be something's going to be to it's the divine feminine energy is pulling on you if you're a divine masculine um, you're definitely attracting this person, how you attract the one that you want with loving yourself. Cause this person needs to see you shine in all of your light. And if you're not shining in all of your light, how is this person going to see you? Um, together, there's a bond that heals. Yeah. Together, there is a bond that, that like heals everything. Um, there's also some understanding that you may get to a divine masculine. This doesn't have to be a relationship. There's just you're understanding the um, conflicts or the dualities of why of, of divine masculine's actions, because divine masculine, masculine energy is action driven. Right. It's like you listen to our words, but we have to listen to their actions and we get caught up in the words a lot of times. Right. So there's there's a reason for some certain types of actions that divine masculine did. There's something that divine masculine did that's coming towards you. OK, so this could be the, the what you're getting to you that's telling you it's time to, to go or it's time to leave a situation or it's time to excel. Um, it's time to expand a situation. OK, this could also be some type of um, angel. This person is definitely going to be masculine. They're coming towards you. All right, we have the courage here, strength, these gifts. You have strength, fearlessness, fearlessness, and family. These are the gifts that you're getting. Also, tenderness, true love, and compassion. These are these um, gifts exchanged. And you know what you exchange? Your perception. So you're letting go of negative thoughts and feelings. You're letting go of the urge to be critical. Um, you're letting go of resistance. Um, what else here? You're also going into this energy where you're letting go of the past or you're letting go some type of past perception. This is an identity when you have the Phoenix here and um, this is a soul rising or the Phoenix rising. This is an identity that dies. So you're letting go some type of identity. And in return, you are getting strength. Fierceness, also family. Some of you guys may be starting a family soon. Um, this year or next year, you're also getting tenderness, true love, and compassion coming towards you because of those offerings that you're giving up. It's just not you talking negative to yourself anymore. It's an offering, okay? You're transferring energy. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, sever vows of poverty. Okay. Also, obstacles and blocks are being lifted. We also have it is safe for you to receive in cooperation instead of competition. It says sever vows of poverty. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. 
It also says obstacles and blocks are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. Stay centered in gratitude. Okay. It says it is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. All right. And last but not least, we have cooperation, cooperation instead of competition. What's yours is yours and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete as there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperation, partnerships, you can accomplish anything. All right. So that is your morning inspo. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.